Okay. Uh, the last video is up. The one before that had a technical difficulty. So we will be bringing that up. Uh, hopefully in the next couple days. Okay, so let's uh, start with managing mortgage brokers and other power team members. Okay, can you expand on that a little bit, Sierra? About the contacts that I couldn't register or didn't get an email confirmation. Hannah, uh, Peter's working on that to open that up to everybody. So he should be getting back to you in the next day or two. We're actually opening it up to international. Peter was just in uh, Singapore and we're opening up to international students. So uh, you'll, we'll start to see international uh, people uh, for deals that are looking and interested in investing in Canada and the United States. What do you mean, Sarah? You've sent you sent your mortgage broker potential tenant buyers so far nothing back. What does that mean? What do you mean nothing back? No, yeah, I understand it's for rent to own. But what what do you mean they haven't they haven't said anything back? Are they telling you that the people are not able to be qualified is that what you mean okay does he understand what what you, he's supposed to do in this scenario and how he benefits from it you think he's taking your clients that's not good <laughs> have you talked to him Sierra You think you might have the same problem? When you say taking your clients, he's qualifying them or she's qualifying them? I hope it's not one we've heard. It's from Montreal. I think he's just one of those really caring guys. Caring how? He wants to help the client more than the investors. Sierra, is he qualifying them? Is that what you're saying? He is the mortgage broker who is supposed to help me qualify people for the rental. Okay. So he's either he's either qualifying him himself or doing what? Doing the rental owns on his own? I don't know what you mean by that charity. Rent to own too expensive. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Is he? Do you think he's qualifying them, Sierra? I think he's concerned he is not passing them back to me. That he's just going to work with them himself. How's he going to do that, Sierra? He's going to buy the properties for them? These are people who can't qualify, correct, Sierra?
Okay, so if he's taking the clients, he's either approving them or he's doing the rent to owns on his own. Either way, it doesn't sound like you should be working with this guy if this is what you believe. But before you make a decision like that, I think you should talk to him. Just call him up and ask him what's going on with those particular clients. That's exactly right, Anna. So, so you would do that anyways, Anna, as experienced or, or, or you know, if you're a novice to it, you, you get, if you can build a relationship with a realtor where they're submitting the offers for you and they're willing to put offers at a discount, that's exactly what you do. And then before signing to ask them include some additional clauses. So what we do is we just put an intent to offer, which is to say that you're saying, look, I'm interested in your property this is what I can do for you cash offer this is the VTB offer uh, if this is something that you want to do uh, please send an offer to purchase with these additional clauses send it back to me for signing that's it does everybody understand that Do you mind if we offer the other from the group to join our Facebook? No, they can they can do that. Yeah, if you want to do that, you can do that. This group that we have here, which is to the, tonight, uh, there's almost 40 of you tonight. Um, let's, uh, you know, they're your first group. So please take advantage of that. So, okay, so you're having the same problem with your mortgage broker? He keeps avoiding the question? <laughs> okay, uh, okay so, so let me explain something about power team members. You don't want to train them, right? So you just want to ask them some questions, and if they answer them appropriately, then you run with them one deal at a time until they show that they're on board, uh, or you just move on to the next one. Okay, that's okay, and that's okay. But this, this. You know, if you're asking somebody if they have private access to private money or hard money, and they can't answer that question, yes or no, uh, and maybe you know, partially we need to make sure that we have close-ended questions where we say, do you know, you know, do you have access to private money, yes or no, and make, you know, let's get an answer out of them. Just a quick question, how many of you are going to Vancouver? Okay, a few of you, good. Alright, those of you going to Vancouver, I want to set up a night for dinner for all of us, okay? We'll all go to dinner together. Yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, the, the weekend, the weekend, sorry, the Tuesday meeting before we have that, I will, I will, uh, I will definitely uh, let everybody know what night we're looking at, and uh, we'll we'll all go out together. It'll be a good time. Okay, let me hold on one second.
Okay. All right, so let's go back to the questions. I appreciate that, Emily. Thank you. I will, I will. That's a good idea. Okay, so going back to power team members. Okay, so the power team members, uh, we want to make sure that our power team members, you know, understand what we want. And uh, I, I have a power team building your power team doc right here on the screen. Do you see it? Anybody who doesn't have it, you can you can click on that. And also, you know, I think that I think that you know it's a good opportunity if anybody you know has a power team member that they like that they're working with to share them with the group. I think that's wonderful. Um, but, it, but it's very important for you to understand how to do that on your own so you can screen your own power team members as you develop your business. So why don't we do this concerning your mortgage brokers. Let's, let's do one deal at a time. Let's not send them any more deals and let's see if we can find uh, you know more than one mortgage broker. Remember, we like two mortgage brokers, one that is very creative to qualify um, us with, with private and hard money. And we want one that's not so creative to, to work with the uh, rent-to-own people. Because someone who's very creative, if they can't get the person qualified, then we really don't want to, we really don't want that person. We probably can't help them. Okay, so are we good on power team members? One at a time, ask them the questions. Sierra, are you good? Anna's good, good. There's a couple other people asking about power team members. Good. Okay. We are meeting our lawyer tomorrow. Excellent. Okay, so is anybody is anybody uh, looking for uh, a lawyer right now? Does anybody need a lawyer? Okay, so I'm going to give you a lawyer's name. Okay, so wait, if you're from Quebec, if you're from Quebec, I can give you you know a couple different lawyers. One one out of Montreal, uh, sorry, one out of Ottawa, uh, Ottawa, one out of uh, London, Ontario, one out of Ontario, and one out of um, Alberta. That's, they teach our asset protection class. But Montreal, and you can call the, the ones in Ottawa, but my apologies, I don't want to know why I keep saying Ottawa, the ones in Alberta, uh, to maybe refer you to someone in Montreal, because we do have, they, they, they do communicate with people in Montreal. But if anybody has somebody that's in the Montreal area that they've worked with as a lawyer, and they'd like to share them, that'd be great too. So... If you'd like, I will give you a lawyer's name. Hold on one sec. Okay. Uh, here we go. Hold on one sec. There's one there, and let me give you another. Give me one second.
Okay, there you go. These guys are out of Alberta. They teach our our uh, three-day class. Anybody who's outside of Quebec really can use either one of these guys for all of Canada. Thomas it, it teaches our asset protection class, so he's dealt with business all across Canada. And I'm sure Thomas even knows contacts in Montreal if you want to reach out to him. an account for you here. Okay, that's for, for uh, uh, he's listed for all of Canada, including Quebec, so you can check to make sure, but I know he's, he's he does everybody, everybody outside for sure. But you could, these are individuals that you can reach out, let them know you're rich dad students and that you're interested in maybe working with them. They're Wayne, so they're their contract and and real estate lawyers. Like I mean, they will do real estate terms. But the contracts is really uh, what you're going to do. When when people say real estate lawyers, I imagine somebody who just you know pushes paper and just completes the transaction. These guys are a little more in depth than that. Obviously, they can do that stuff, but their main you know uh, advantage is they're they're a uh, not only corporate lawyers. Uh, but they're contract lawyers, so they're excellent with contracts. And and obviously they can set up your corporations, by the way. These guys can set up your corporation. So full service, they can do it all. And if, whatever they can't do for you, they will, they'll let you know. Yeah, they'll let you know. Okay, so any other questions? We talked a little bit about Power Team. A couple of people are typing. No, I don't know somebody directly in Manitoba. Uh, in Montreal, I want you to call, unless someone you know from this group works with someone in Montreal. I might be able to get you one uh, from Montreal uh, and or Ottawa from uh, Robert, which which uh, which uh, Robert's Robert's gonna gonna uh, share some contacts with us for those folks in Montreal. Yeah, Karen, those they're not the best. <laughs> I don't want to say this and that. They they they're great. They're amazing. They. Uh, they teach your asset protection class. The gentleman from London, Adnan, is the lawyer I work with uh, that I, I really enjoy working with. He's, he's an excellent contract lawyer and real estate lawyer. So he's, he's great. And he sets up corporations for me. So speaking of corporations, since we just start, it should we just register as a self-employee for tax purposes. That kind of question I'd rather you ask an accountant, uh, you know, because it's more of a personal situation, I would suggest. Uh, those kind of questions you want a professional in that field to answer for you. I don't know if that's the way to go, to tell you the truth, uh, because, you know, it'll be a different tax structure for you. Yeah, LLCs, Limited Liability Corporations, yeah. No worries, my friend. 
uh, yeah, limited, limited, uh, limited liability corporations. Again, that's something when you talk to them, you let them know. Uh, you know, the holding, uh, consulting, and real estate company as real estate properties come in. That would be, uh, you know, similar to the structure that I have. That that uh, would would uh, would be something that you could consider for yourself. I don't like to, to dispense advice really about corporations only because I'm not a lawyer and accountant, uh, and I want to make sure you you get the proper um, the proper advice. So Greg, okay, so so an offer to purchase. So we're clear. Greg, the offer to purchase uh, document uh, is is the standard document of your province. So, Greg, if you if you do you have a realtor right now? Thanks, Albert and Annie. Okay, so so the offer to purchase, Greg, that your realtor is using, and I, I I'm talking to you specifically about your area because you're in Montreal. Uh, that's the one you would use. That's the one you would use uh, when you're doing your real estate. Okay, so but you would, but what you do, Greg, is you add those additional clauses that we talked about uh, last few weeks into the contract uh, to protect you to allow you to have an exit from it. So they're not really they're not really different, uh, you know, wholesale uh, wholesaling or you know uh, you know a flip. It's the same. Now, lease option is different because the lease option contract itself, uh, the, the lease component of it is separate from the uh, option. A lease, the lease and lease option is, is really a real estate, is a, sorry, is a, a renter's lease. And, and uh, the, the uh, option portion is the option to purchase. Those are the separation between those. So, so, uh, you know, there's there's standard lease agreements. I would I would definitely use the one relative to your province. There's definitely uh, option option. Uh, I have an option contract. Uh, I'll share with you guys. Um, I can share with you guys. But again, I want you to always you know even these documents. I want you to make sure that you consult with a lawyer so you're applying the rules and regulations of your province to ensure that you're not violating any rules or regulations or laws. Right. So. Uh, the offer to purchase, Greg, going back to your question, is really the same. It's the same offer to purchase that we would use for wholesaling or a flip or a buy and hold. It's really a question of making sure that we have those clauses in to protect us. Does that make sense, Greg? Should we establish entities and engage accounts and lawyers before having a property under contract, or would you recommend we focus on getting a property first? So what I, I would do is is I would do what's what's easy, and uh, and and what comes to you, you know first. And I think Wayne talking to an accountant and a lawyer uh, is a great idea, uh, and setting up your you know your corpse, uh, you know you you don't have to set up corpse right away. Uh, it depends how fast or how quickly you believe that you're going to get involved. Accountant I I do relatively early in the game, uh, because you want to be able to be on top of. Uh, you know your expenses and, and the costs that you're incurring as you're building your business to make sure that you get benefits, the full tax benefit of them. So I wouldn't I wouldn't not talk to your accountant or lawyer before you found a property. I just do what's easy and typically what's easy is talk to an accountant or lawyer, talk to realtors, talk to mortgage brokers. Those things are not really you know uh, prohibitive to whether you have a property on, you know under contract or not. Now I will say this: if you have a property. It, you know, a property under contract or a property that you're looking at is a great way to, you know, uh, vet your power team, right? The people that you're working with. That's where you find some good people, right? Because you're work actually working with the deal. It's a lot easier to have a power team member, you know, because a power team member can say anything. And you want to see them in action. And, and having a property in motion is, is a great way to evaluate whether they should be part of your team. Okay. My pleasure. Um, Anna, you're 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 looking at a real estate property now, yes? Okay. So Anna's looking at a real estate property. We were talking about financing. And I know there's a group of you that are interested in in you know 
potentially getting involved with deals uh, because you have access or have available capital. Uh, I know that we did that a few weeks ago. Uh, the the challenge that I have, you know, with that, I'm letting everybody know if I go through that process again and ask everybody who wants to be uh, considered for those to post their emails. If I if, you, if we do that, please don't do that yet. Um, I'll have to block out the chat completely. So, you know, it's okay. You'll still hear my voice and you'll still see the screen. You just won't see the chat uh, or the questions asked uh, because I don't want to display those emails because they're posted to our to our YouTube channel, right? So, uh, what do you folks think about how, how should we deal with that? Would you like to just post it up again and we'll just I'll block out the chat for this session? Any ideas how you'd like to manage that? Uh, there are about a hundred viewers on the okay want to see the chat. Okay. I'd like to see the chat. Okay Can we create a face group here share emails on there? Sorry for what exactly? <laughs> for investors and you know, for investors and potential partners the reason I'm laughing is just because I'm a, I know that you you know we were talking about financing me and you Uh, okay, so why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Let's do, let's do, let's do this. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's do this. If you want, we can create a group within two minutes. Okay, let's do this. Let's, let's, okay, so I want everyone to understand when we're talking about investors from this group, it means you have access to capital, okay? And let's, let's make a mark for the minimum access to capital you have is 10,000, okay? And, and up, and you don't have to identify what that is. But the reason I want to do that is because I want those who have the capital who are looking to use that capital to invest with other students. Uh, obviously there has to be a vetting process and there has to be lawyers involved obviously, but this is, there's a lot of potential opportunity right here with this group, uh, without question, that has access to, to, to capital that's looking for deals, um, you know, that would love if someone was hustling, finding deals and, and they could be a part of that deal as an investor or uh, a lender or, you know, a partner. So. Um, why don't we okay would you do you folks believe that we should create a Facebook group for that would you like to do that is that did anybody have any objections to that any objections anybody no objections I assume okay all right no, I'm in okay 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 good all right let's do this so, who would like to manage this Facebook group? Marina, okay. So Marina is going to create a Facebook group. Marina, uh, do you want to create it and post it right now? Okay, you do that. Now I want everybody, everybody that that has access to capital that they want to get involved in deals to go there individuals that that name suggestion um, let's call it elite investors try that it's really up to you folks lead investors sure <laughs> I said elite but <laughs> I would say 10k is is probably okay, yeah, to, to maybe do some some because you know what the 10k could be used for a rehab. It really could, you know, it could be used. I mean, you know, uh, do you, do you folks think that we should go a little bit higher? Or, uh, I don't think we should go lower. Does anybody anybody have any insight or ideas? This is your group, so please tell me what you think. 
You think 50k? Higher you think? Uh, that's too high. 10k please. 10k minimum. Yes, 50k. I think 10k is okay. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, 10k. Let's see, 20k. I think 20k is perfect range. 20k. So this is money you need to have access to. There are a lot of elite investors group already. Global Canada investors. Uh, is there an elite investors group? That will be. It will be a closed group. Yeah. Uh, you can always go up. Twenty k. Okay. Okay. Does how about? Okay, so, so why don't we do 10K? We'll start with 10K. Okay? You have to have access to 10K. And when I say access, I mean, you know, immediate access. Okay? We'll start with 10K. We can move it up. But let's start with 10K. But you have to have access to it immediately. The reason is, is when someone... What we're going to do is this. Okay? So every time we get a deal, or a potential deal, we can, we can send it to that group. This is a temporary... Something we're going to do temporary because I got another way for us to do that. And, and it'll make it a lot easier than Facebook. It, it'll be more private. But right now, I, I want to be able to have you get full advantage of uh, each other's resources. If you don't, can you join this group? Is that what that means? So, Amy, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to, we're going to separate this group. And it's not to, please don't, anybody get the wrong idea. It's just so... Uh, I want I want to be able to direct people to a group to this group. Now it doesn't mean you're not you're not you know uh, important or you know part of the process of us being successful. The 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 real you know the real thing. Obviously we want to, we want to put people with that have deals or working on deals and looking for capital to be able to access that capital. So. Um, it, it's totally up to you folks would you like to if you can open it up to everybody that's fine um, it doesn't have to be a separate group so it's it's really about trying to create an arena for you to you know say look I got a deal this is how much money I need and, and be able to post that uh, and then communicate one-on-one -on -one via email Okay, didn't find an existing elite Canadian. So is that the group, Marina? I'll have a better name later. <laughs> okay, so you know what? It's 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 really not a problem to have everybody join the group. It really isn't. Um, it's just, you know, I want to I want to make sure everyone understands. Everybody join the group. It's fine. I want to make sure I understand that this is a group where. You can start to develop relationships and partnerships. Why don't we get everybody to join the group? Now let's just get everybody to join the group. I don't want anybody out. Let's get everybody to join the group. It's fine. Just everybody knows that group is for is for uh, investing. Okay, for for putting out deals and seeing who, who you know who comes back. Yeah, thanks, Marina. Let's do that. Let everybody join that group. Okay. Let's do that. That's a good idea. Okay, so that group is specifically for, uh, yeah, Danny, I will, I will. Uh, uh, I want everybody to understand what that group's for, and and let's use that as a as a uh, you know opportunity to let people know that we're sitting on a deal and there's so much money we need, and then after that. I really don't want you to discuss, if you could, the particulars of the deal. Uh, just if somebody's interested, you know, you can start to communicate. I think individually. Do you think that's the way to go, or it's totally up to you, folks? It's your, it's your group. Well, Anna, you could do either or. So this is a group where you could come and say, "Look, I got a deal, and I'm just looking to wholesale it." 
and someone could take it off your hands. You look, you might say, I need thirty thousand dollars to do this deal. Is anybody interested? I can give a you know a ten percent return or fifteen percent return. You know, um, that's that's what I'm imagining this group could do. And we got a great group tonight. I mean, a good sized group. So if everybody jumps on this. This group, I'm sure, I'm sure we will not have any problems raising capital. I mean that, you know. And it could be, it could be, you know, you know, it could be a, a, this group because this is the first time we've really had a chance to get all of you into one group. Because all over, each of you have kind of your own separate groups, which is great. But it'd be great if everybody jumped on the same, same, you know, channel to allow each other to eat, use each other's resources. The other thing we could do is yeah that's right exactly the other thing we can do if you're if you're up for it um, is you can you can in inside that group and it's up to you but inside that group as soon as you get a power team member that's valuable that's valuable um, you can post the, the power team member up for everybody to see this that's the advantage of the group right that's the advantage of the group so it's really is you know oh my pleasure it's really about you know about us using it properly and and using it marina you're going to monitor this congratulations marina i'm going to join i'm going to join and believe me i don't do that <laughs> i don't like to i don't like to necessarily do that but because uh, i get to communicate with you uh, a lot of different ways but marina i'll join this group because i, I want to you know, uh, every once in a while, post or see what's going on there to, to, you know, make sure it stays positive. Okay, so does anybody have any other ideas about this group? Come in, good, 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 good. Yeah, everybody should take advantage. Everybody. It needs to be a closed group, though, Marina. Right? It's a closed group. Okay. Can we make it a secret? I think it is. <laughs> Can't one Ottawa winners though? Do you wanna it is a secret? No no. <laughs> I just wanted a closed group for only rich dad students, only you know, only us, only you know, elite students. I don't the reason is I don't want it to be you know, I want because we all have the same mindset and they all, all have the same goal, and I want to make sure that it stays a positive group moving forward. Everybody has 31 members. Good. Um, you want to post it again, Marina? Just post it again. Make sure everybody has it. I do, Sierra. Yes, it's it's. There you go. It is. I don't I don't really use Facebook, but I do have an account because of some other. Uh, support I was providing to some students, but that that was a few years ago. It's still there Okay All right, so so far what we have is a group uh, uh, Yeah, Dan you can invite yeah, you can invite trainer anybody that's elite uh, Elite part of the organization You know you can if you wish talk to him let him know um absolutely well you need you need you need to make sure that they came through somebody else you know um you know i, I really think it's i think it's yeah <laughs> secret society i think it's important that we stay within this group i really don't please don't you know bring power team members into this group this is just just for us okay you know, if they're part of our group, then great. If they're not, um, I think I think it's something that we would have to decide. We were opening it up to other people. 
But at this point, I'd like to keep it a closed group. Is that okay with everybody? You need a code word? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, but sharing contacts, punch of power team members is okay. Yeah, you can share. Yeah, yeah, share share power team members. Um, yeah, the code word is similar. So yeah, please invite me to the group by my Facebook page. Please invite me to the group by my Facebook page. That's from Stan. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> uh, be witness. Sounds like Mason. Spell bones. Yeah, it could be. Send me a private message, please. I think Marina Marina's talking to you about uh, the invitation. Same here. I can't find it on my search. Oh. That's the link right there. Is anybody having a problem finding it? Dave was saying he, he was having some issues with it. Dan, are you able to get in? Did you find it? No? Uh, what happens when you click the link, Stan? Are you okay now? You got it? Sierra, you're hilarious. Uh, let's see. Just join. Thanks. Good. Do it through the web. There was a suggestion. That, okay. The secret word. Sure, you can use that as a secret word. No problem. Standing good. Excellent. Uh, Dave, did you get in? Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to make sure that this group is protected. People from Montreal wanting to invest in large multi unit. I'm not sure what that means, Mike. Any property I think is on the table. For this group, okay? It's called Elite Money Holders Group. Is that, Dave, is that, oh, you're asking if that's what it's called? Is it a setup that I approve adding people and proof posts? That's awesome, Marina. Okay, so Dave's finding, can you, can you give us the name, Marina, again? Elite Investors. Okay. Dave, you seen it? I'll try that. Okay. Is everybody in that wants to be in? Is anybody still having issues? Other than Dave, Dave's working on it. Anybody else? Okay, no worries. So in this group, a couple things that we can do right away, okay? Um, we have Dave, good. Uh, this is what I, okay, keep working on it. I want to make sure everybody that wants to get in gets in. Those of you who have access to capital immediately, uh, those of you who have access to capital immediately, what you can do is you can post immediately that you have access to capital and are, are open to partnerships or and or investing or lending whatever it is that you're on but let them know that you you have access to capital uh, you don't have to announce how much you have but you know you have access to capital if you want if you want you can this is why we got to keep this a closed group okay uh, whatever you feel like sharing 
you can share and and uh, we can do that or you can just wait it out wait for a deal to come on it's totally up to you it really is totally up to you how you want to interact with each other I just I, I want to make sure that uh, whatever happens on this site whatever happens uh, that we use the proper the power team members lawyers accountants you know contracts are signed agreements are made uh, and everyone's protected okay we want it to be a positive experience for everybody uh, and everyone should commit to uh, making sure that they include their power team members uh, lawyers and such on such deals okay The tool process, is it free for members? The tool process, what are you referring to, Greg? The tool process. Do you mean RECC? The portal, yeah. Everybody, the portal, this is what I wanted to talk, yeah. Portal's available to all students. I want, I want to make sure, yeah, Greg, you should be able to get in there. Can you, can you get in there? I was just in the portal. So, not yet. I want everybody, everybody needs to be able to go in the portal because this is where you pick your classes and this is where you can watch on demand, right? And this is where you can get the actual uh, uh, books, the, the manuals for, for, hold on one sec, one second. So, let me go over here. Like everybody, everybody should be able to click on that. You can see schedules. You can see, you can register for courses. What do you mean, gone? What do you mean by that, gone? Okay, so anybody, anybody, I look, I took the class, but online videos are not there anymore. Okay, so they, they made some changes to servers and stuff. I don't know exactly what they did, uh, but the, yeah, the classes should be available to you. 30 days after the last recording, they're gone. What do you mean by that, Albert? This is what it's told us. The the recordings of of online training, do you mean Albert? Yeah, online training sits on the server for for you know not indefinitely. Uh, the recordings are there so you can catch up in between. Um, the on demand doesn't go anywhere. The on demand should be available to you for the, the length of your program. Thanks, Wayne. Yeah, if there's if there's issues, reach out to your training advisor and and ask them about it. But everyone should be able to get into the portal. Is there anybody that can't get into the portal? What if the online momentum is missed? Missed? Is it possible? If you haven't taken it, yeah, for sure. You can take it live also. It's going to be in Vancouver, I believe. Is there anybody that can't get into the portal, please? Please tell me if you can't get into the portal. Faith, you can't? I don't have a sign in. So, Faith, I want I want everybody that can't get into the portal, I want that resolved, you know, in the next 48 hours. You have to call the training advisor and get your username and password. Every one of you should have a username and password to get into that portal. That's a must, okay? This week, you need that resolved. Okay, you have to at least talk to them to make sure that that you can access it because this is where your classes are. This is where the on-demand is. Yeah, please do, Faith. 
You know, this is where you get your, your training manuals. When you sign up for a course, you can immediately access the training manual and the on-demand right away. No faith. That's all part of it. The portal should be a resource you're using. Scheduling for classes is in there. Yeah, it's all in there. It's all in there. Sure, Oliver. My pleasure. My yeah. <laughs> you found a fourplex. The rents have been raised in many has it not been raised in many years, and the owner says she pays the heating bill, made the calculation, and it would be a great deal if we can manage to dis distribute heating electricity cost around fifty five hundred a year. The marina, that, that training, just give me one second, Oliver. That training is uh, the online six weeks. They record the sessions that they have at night, uh, the three-hour sessions, two to three-hour sessions, and they're, they're recorded marina uh, for the individual to, if they missed it, they can watch it again. But the on-demand would not be removed. It's just, a, it's just the, the, the class, the, the three-hour class they have, uh, you know, it sits on the server for 30 days just in case you missed it. Okay, so any class, so Amy, the class is in it. Don't worry, Oliver, I haven't forgot about you. The class is in the portal, are you talking about? Or when you talk to them. If you don't see classes months out, that you know they do add classes. No, it's on the paper sheet. Yeah, I would I would look to the portal. It's continually updated, and if you don't see classes later in the year, they add them as 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 our students need them. You know, as as the 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 uh, registrations go up with it. Greg, I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to reintroduce that to everybody uh, either next week or the following week, and talk about the changes to that and how we're going to use that. Okay. My pleasure. Everybody, please. If you, at the Vancouver Swizzen, if you don't take a live class, what else is there to do? They do events. I don't know exactly what events they're holding, but there's events uh, in a main ballroom. It probably will be uh, in different things, activities. I really don't know. I will try to get those details, though, and share them with the group, okay, in the coming weeks. Okay? Yeah, for sure you can network. Absolutely. That's what you, need. That's what you should be doing there is networking. Big time. Big time. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my friend Oliver. <laughs> we found a fourplex. The rents have been raised many years ago. It's okay, he can tell us. Okay, so, so Oliver, with the, with that a deal like that, yeah, if you're going to the symposium, take, take a live class. Go there and take full advantage of it. Networking, absolutely. Absolutely. You can do that, make that happen. Obviously, keep all expenses, folks. That's those are that's a, this is a business trip, right? This is a business trip. Okay. So concerning the the uh, good, awesome. Concerning the uh, properties. So any additional expenses? Uh, any additional expenses? Get right back to you, Sarah. Any additional expenses on a property like? Um, like uh, rehabs, like uh, changing the meters so they go from house to house, like um, uh, any additional expenses. Really, the only two that you really do you, I wouldn't include. Uh, it's option, but I wouldn't really include them. Is the lawyer and the land transfer, just because the lawyer and the land transfer are one time shot, right? Uh, but when you're talking rehab. You know, and, and changing this and changing that on the property. That should go against your purchase price. Absolutely should go against it. You can include the lawyer and the land transfer as part of the purchase price when you calculate your numbers. 
And I think this is important to do, uh, to add those. Rehabs, it's, it's, it's really an absolute. You know, if you're spending 25000 on a rehab, add it to your purchase price. And this is to allow you to properly evaluate the property to ensure that the, the, the metrics make sense. Because at the end of the day, you're in control of that, you know, that property and, and and if you bought a property for 300 and you put 350,000 another 50,000 in rehabs that property is 350 you know that's what you're in for on that property is 350 does everybody understand that right we want we want to make sure that we cover all that so Oliver have you, you know I want you to figure out every cost to create the conversion every cost to create the conversion uh, that you're talking about, which it's always better to have the tenants pay individual bills instead of you paying them. Um, so I want to make sure that when you come into that property, I've, I've accounted for all my costs. And for me, that's going to be, you know, it's going to be a, 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 you know, a, a situation where I'm, I'm evaluating this property for exactly what I put in, exactly what I put in, you know, because that, that money, that money has to be accounted for. Okay, so Oliver, why don't you why don't you look at the you know the actual conversion cost to get that set up properly? The other thing, Oliver, is you know we can't except in Alberta, really, you can't raise the rents, you know, just as much as you want. You can't really do that. So although the rents haven't been moved, um, there is an impact. You know, you can move it to the to the provincial limit, but you know that's that's about max what you're going to be able to do. The other option. Or with leniency they give to increases of rent is if you put a considerable amount of money in, in refurbishing or rehabbing a property, and it's you know you can make a case that you need to raise the rents because of that, right? Each province has its own rules and regulations. You know you got to you got to make sure you follow the ones there. Um, you know the Landlord Tenant Act for each province easy to find. There's links to them uh, online. Uh, easy to easy to to, to review. Uh, and uh, and I'll give you a source in a couple of weeks where you can see them all for the whole country. I just I'm working on something with Peter to to, to allow us to work with uh, with a resource like that. Okay, so is that good, Oliver? Could we jump in and buy a big deal and get all passive? Oh, what am I looking at? I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. I went right back up. Okay, uh, good, excellent. All right. Uh, Steven, any questions? I know you sent me an email. You were talking about some expenses and costs. Are you good? I know you're on the call with us. Any questions? Okay, no worries. No worries, Stephen. Okay, so anybody that has mo has has a a training coming up, if it's on Tuesday, um, Amy, is it on Tuesday? Yeah, go to the meeting, please. I mean, go go to the meeting. Go to the class. Make sure you go to the class. Yeah, go to the class when the class is done. If we're still going, jump on. Uh, we usually run till 10:30, anyways. It's it's coming on 10:30 right now, so we will be wrapping up. But the recording will be there, okay? Just uh, I want you to make sure you go to your classes, please, folks. I want you to get on the portal, and I want you to uh, I want you to make sure uh, that you get on the portal and start watching your on demand and getting getting the getting the uh, the, the the manuals. You can access those manuals right away. I want you to take full advantage of that, okay? Um, Faith. Do you mean for the for the recordings? For momentum. So you registered for it, right, Faith? Excellent content in those manuals. Yes? Okay, Faith, they haven't sent you a, a link to use. Where do we go? No. Okay, so so Faith and everybody, please, if you have any questions about getting into your classes or scheduling that's not answered for you in the portal, I want you to call the uh, student advisors, the, the number that they gave you, and, and ask 
to make sure that you're set up for that. So Faith, if you reach out, you know, and if ever you're reaching out and you're having a problem getting through, you can reach out to me. Please let me know, and and uh, I'll look into it. But I, I want I want everyone to, to to start using that portal. It's a great resource, awesome resource, awesome awesome resource. Okay, we are at 10:30. My pleasure. Uh, can you please put up the the uh, uh, Marina, can you please put up the Facebook one more time and put up the name of the Facebook? Thank you very much for the number. So let's put up the Facebook page again and let's put up the Facebook name and make sure that everybody gets a chance to get in. Okay, it's yes, a running check in. I want to make sure that these people are from this group. Okay. Okay. I will say a name. Please identify yourself. Okay. Is that somebody from this group? Yes. Okay, it's Greg. I think, I mean, it's possible, but can anybody get into that group <laughs> that wasn't supposed to? Annie, are you are you still on the call? No, I deleted them. They went to bed. Oh, so Annie is somebody. <laughs> What's the group? Sorry, I was... Late today, don't worry. Yeah, Annie is Albert's. Okay, good. Okay. Albert is Albert's. Yeah, Albert's Albert. That's real. Albert and Annie, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So, John, uh, the portal. You can go to the portal. It's listed right there for live classes. You can check and it'll tell you where the Vancouver Symposium is and the details. Didn't I did, but we were on the portal. I did, but we're on the portal. I, I saw it in the portal actually today. Symposium. Which page? Did you look at class schedules? Okay, so Michael, we're going to post that. Don't worry. She's, uh, Marina's going to post that again. Let's look at this. options. So, okay. Excellent. You're so lost. Michael, we created a group with, with everybody, everybody, yeah, it's for networking, yeah, from everybody that joined today uh, with us on this call, and it's to allow uh, for power team members in different places across the country that you know, it's also for investing, right, if somebody has capital and they're looking to invest in, it's people that are looking for capital, it's a great resource, it's just, we need to keep it a closed group, and nobody gets in, um, other than this group, okay? And we'll add new new students across the country as they become students, but until then, this, this needs to be a closed group, so please do not invite your power team members to, to, to this group. Uh, you'll be more than happy to promote them here, but they're not, they're not, uh, they're not welcome in this group uh, as, at this point. 
Okay, so are we good? I'm going to wrap it up. Are we? Are, is everybody okay? Do we have any other questions? If you're good, type in yes. Vancouver Symposiums in Richmond. If you go to the portal, you can check and for dates of classes. Uh, you will see the uh, location, and you will also see um, you'll see the information on the symposium. Now, it shows up as a class. So, so if you're interested in the symposium and more information, you can definitely call uh, your training advisor. I will have more details about it in the coming weeks for sure. Uh, and I want to invite everybody. We're going to sort it out, but I want to invite everybody that's there out to dinner. We'll go we'll all eat together, and we'll, uh, we'll have a good time. Okay? All right. I'm going to wrap it up. It was a great session. I'm glad we got that accomplished. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, Maria, for setting that up. That's awesome. And uh, let's let's keep hunting and finding those properties and using each other as resources because we all have a lot to give, okay? Uh Excellent, excellent, excited. And Stephen, I'll wait for your email. Otherwise, you know how to reach me if you need something. All right, Sierra. <laughs> You're hilarious, Sierra. I will, I will. Uh, uh, I want everybody to to uh, to please use the resources, get in the portal, and uh, and reach out if you need anything else. Okay. Awesome. Have a great evening, and we'll see you next Tuesday.